anyone that just starts singing for no reason deserves to be to, be, to have their pull up, their pants pulled down and spanked in public. Yes, sir. Um, the slaves are here. Also, what can I do to help with getting reinforcements? Honestly, I don't know if there's anything left to be done. I've contacted Major Spears repeatedly and harangued him for reinforcements. Spears is in bullhead. He doesn't appreciate how dire the situation is. Maybe you could convey that to him. Okay, I can do that. How do I do that? Uh, is there a radio we gotta use then? That was a typewriter. Oh, there it is. Lieutenant, for the last time, I have no more men to spare. You must make do with what you have. Zach here. Uh, it's high time you pull your head out of your ass and send some reinforcements. Now look here. I'm under strict orders here to maintain the garrison at its current strength. I can't deviate from it. I'm sorry. Game over, man! Game over! Idiot. <laughs> if you don't send some troops, I'm going to skin you over the airwaves. No, that's stupid. That one's dumb. That's a dumb thing to say. How would I skin him over the airwaves? Your screams will be so loud they rip off his skin. Look, Major, this base is going to fall without any reinforcements. Screw the orders and help out your soldiers. You know you're right. We have to look out for each other. If that means bending the rules, so be it. You'll get your reinforcements. Good. Well, they arrived fast. Yay, reinforcements! Yay, did you hear that, buddy chicken? Buddy chicken, we got reinforcements! Woo! Microfusion cell, hell yeah! Let's dance! <laughs> yes, sir. So, Lieutenant, we not only have reinforcements, we also got resupplied! Really? Well, I'm impressed. Uh, that's great. Really. Um, by the way, Josie wants to talk to you. There's a situation with the slaves. Ah, <sighs> great. Oh, is, are the slaves mad that he was jerking off in front of them? Probably. That's probably what it is. Josie, stop causing international incidents. Huh? You wanted to speak with me? We still got a few slaves coming over, but most of them is over in the cave there. Thing is, there's a few of them look fighting age, and... Since they already been rebels, some of them know how to fight a little bit. Want to see if we can put them to use, but then again, they've been through a lot. I ain't exactly too sure about how to proceed on this. We'll try to motivate them. Uh, let's pick out a handful of those capable fighters and make them defend the base. There might be a few that can shoot or swing a bat. At the very least, they'll stop a bullet. While we're getting them armed, why don't you go on over, help out some of them... Pathetic motherfuckers just wandering around and shit. Hell yeah, Operation Human Meat Shield is a go! Where are they? Where exactly are the slaves? Oh, they're in the trenches already. Mine. There's a- oh, there's a few more coming across, yep! Some holy water on me about Johnny God. Hey. Can you spare an old man some of the good stuff? I'm on my way out. I just want a drink. What the hell happened over there, man? Started way back outside Flagstaff. They tried to... Make a couple tribes fight each other, they rose up. Before you know it, this guy they called Spartacus was head of the whole group, was kicking ass. Pretty sure that wasn't his real name, just something he took on to scare the Legion. Probably, I hear that's happened before. It was a good thing. Pretty damn amazing, actually, for a while. We won a couple battles, and we're on a roll, but besides Spartacus, we had a guy named Turner, and he wanted to attack Flagstaff itself. He's just out for blood. That sounds crazy. Spartacus said we should go for NCR territory. That seems safe. Turner took most of the warriors, made an attack on Flagstaff. Oh, it was it was bad. They got bushwhacked and just about annihilated. What? A, who could have seen that coming? Old Atticus there, he crucified him on the road outside all the way to Kingman. Me and the... Uh, rest of them fled with Spartacus West and him and the remaining fighters they they stayed back in a pass to make sure ones like me and these women and young folks could make it this way a noble sacrifice brave man and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him very well does the legion commander have any weaknesses well he replaced Marcellus after he was assassinated Name is Titus Atticus. He claimed Marcellus gone soft, so he kicked things in order. Because uh, you're tight ass, I get it. His mission is to stamp out the rebellion Biggest. by killing 
every single slave. Because <laughs> he's already crucified a bunch. Now he's just killing them all. He inherited most of Marcellus's army, so they're a tough group. And they know how to fight. They'll kill us all. Not right. if we have anything to say about it. Wait, do you know anything about Marcellus? He commanded a big army in the south. Got obsessed with old Firebase Zulu there. Attacked it twice. Lost both times, just barely. The Legion sucks at doing basically everything. Second time he was killed. Some people say it was Caesar gave the orders. Marcellus was a bit smarter than Titus. Not as just crazy. That's all there is to say about Atticus. He's like a mad dog. Great. All right, well, I need to get going. Uh, Go take a drink out of the river. Also, there's a drinking fountain in the tent, inexplicably. No, don't go in there. You're not allowed in there. You're too old. That's okay. Before I got to the river, I'd been drinking my own piss for three days. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, anything's better than that. Hey. Small child, who looks at you longingly. What's your malfunction? Ah, the Legion cut out your tongue? That's unfortunate. Shouldn't have sassed him. Let's see, we can make a silly face and impersonate Caesar. I make a silly face and impersonate Caesar by pretending I have a brain tumor. <laughs> oh no, my brain! Ah, uh, how could this have happened? Ah, uh, I'm bald and stupid. You have amused the child. Congratulations! Yay! I did it. Still going. Terrence, man, they are still just going at it over there. All right, I need to find some liquor. Where would whiskey be? Oh, in the medical tent, they probably use it to anesthetize or I something. Don't, I don't think they do. Mm. Hey, old man, I got some good news for ya. I found some booze. I found some booze for you, hey, and I just I sprained my ankle paper. falling off that cliff, so I'm gonna keep this booze for myself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Here you go. Oh, thank you. That's gonna hit the spot. At least I can spend my last day on Earth with a nice buzz. There you go. Have fun. I got a fucking great PT score. I got a good <laughs> chance of getting promoted. What? Pretty soon I'll be giving you orders. Oh, so you're good at push-ups and shit. So you deserve to be giving me orders. That'll be the fucking day. I'll fucking frag you myself before that happens. <laughs> yep. Please, you don't have the balls. I'm going to be giving you orders, and I'll fucking do the peck pop while I do it. You'll have to fucking listen, you will fucking weakling. <laughs> what you get for not doing your push-ups. <sighs> Who did better at the rifle range? That's the shit that counts. Yeah. Fuck your fucking push-ups. That's right. And your nasty fucking steroid pecs, you freak. <laughs> oh, really? Private Lewis seemed to think pretty highly of him when I had my shirt off working in that fucking detail. <laughs> she was giving me the, the fuck me now on. Oh, my God. I, I you tell. don't even have a dick! <laughs> Lewis, I wouldn't fuck her with a death cloth dick. You dip your wick in that. You might as well hold a funeral for your dick, you dumb fucking bastard. I can't believe she's sleeping in that front of us. That is a malicious rumor. Just slander. She is a beautiful, pristine creature. <laughs> sure, she's as pure as the snow. Why do you think Johnson had to get a medical evac? He stuck yeah. his cock in there. Fucked him up good. Okay, now I know you're full of shit. Official report said Johnson had an unidentified... Infection of the foot. <laughs> he probably stepped on a legion booby trap or something. A legion booby trap. Sure. Yep. I tell you what. Why don't you just tempt fate? Go ahead and jump in the sack with Lewis. See what happens. <laughs> yes, thank you for the prognosis, Dr. Zombie. <laughs> I'll just fucking... Well... You know, I think I'm gonna wait. I'll just... I'll fucking jerk off. <laughs> Smart move, stud. You can borrow my big girl's mag if you want, but for Christ's sake, stop jerking off onto the fucking pages. It's a fucking super glue. <laughs> oh, Gross. Thanks, that's the Ass Man edition, right? Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm going to the shitter. If I'm not back in ten minutes, send somebody to check if I've passed out from heat exhaustion. <laughs> yes. Don't let him give me the silver bullet, please. No, God, no. God, no, don't let him do that. Damn. Hey. Oh, this woman is severely injured. Swelling is around her face and neck, and it's interfering with her breathing. You gotta treat her with your medical skill. Yeah, fine. You did it. You treated her with medical skill. Oh, she's having a strong allergic reaction. By cleaning all, all the wounds of cazador venom and administering a steroid compound, you have reduced the swelling, and now the breathing is returning to normal. I took some Cuddy steroids. Hey, 
Hey, ah, she's fine. She lives. See, I didn't do the bad thing. I actually treated her. I do it all for buddy chicken. Have we treated all of the people that need oh, to be treated? That was it. Everyone's been treated. Excellent. Hey. Mm. Huh? We've done everything we can for the slaves. It's in God's hands now. All right, that's good news. Some of us come up. Big bunch of slaves are hollering, making a ruckus over there. Apparently, one old gal got herself knocked up. She's falling over, about to have that baby. Baby? You better go on over there and try to pop that thing out, because God knows what? I ain't no doctor. I ain't doing that shit! No! No, 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 no! I'm not helping deliver a baby! Well, somebody has to, because that baby's got to come out! Fuck no, I ain't doing that! Uh, you get in there and do it, Billy! Oh, yeah, Billy, his bedside manner is commendable. Everyone's waiting patiently, hoping. Some cons got. What do you fucking deal course, with that? So I'm not dealing with this shit. Out. None of them have medical skills. They weren't allowed to learn. One of you's got to be a midwife. I know it. The Legion uh, forbids slaves from having skills. Uh, fine, hey. The woman is in the throes of labor. In, definitely not asleep. She appears to be having extreme difficulty del delivering her baby and is in extreme pain. Use my medical expertise. You delivered the baby. The mother will live. Yay! Hey, look, it's the baby. Oh, God, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Those oh, fiends are over. Ah! Look, I can do that, too! Ah! <laughs> Fucking babies. Howdy. Always screaming and crapping and crapping and screaming. Who needs them? <laughs> <sighs> I got two badges now. How do I get a second one? They're multiplying. Oh, no. See, it wasn't that hard. How hard is delivering a baby? That, oh, it, that's why these people had catcher's mitts! Yeah. I helped the slave deliver her baby. Look at you, delivering babies and saving people left and right. We just gonna have to put some wings on you, let you fly up to heaven, ain't we? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Before you ascend to sainthood, got one other matter that'll take your mind off of that real quick. A big group of Casador's been stinging and killing the slaves coming over. We can go over there and kill them old bug things. Okay. Yeah, okay, we can do that. That sounds easy. A real pain in the ass, you know, just shoot them, smash them, usual kind of bullshit. Don't get stung or you, you fucking die. <laughs> That's yep. about it. All right, let's go do that. Off to kill the Cazadors. See, this is something I can actually do. I can kill Cazadors. Clean out your trench. I can kill Cazadors. Delivering a baby might generally be out of your purview. I don't want to do that either. If, it, if they're in a closed... Oh, God, there's some right there. Hey, they're right there. Oh, and here they come, yep. Yeah, there you go, yes. Oh, there's more than I would have assumed there to be. That's quite a few. That was a, that's a swarm. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, he hello? Hi. Hello? Apparently they were coming by at just the wrong time. I don't want to, well, the slaves are probably also attacking me now because I think I, act yeah. Had enough? Oh, taking the high ground. That's clever. Yep, there they go. Hi there. Hello. Hi, Nobody knows. You guys should get moving. There's a bunch of Cazadors not too far away. Yeah, there's a bunch of big stupid Cazadors over there that are gonna just immediately start stinging you. Unless we can obliterate them before they find us. Yes, here we go. They have no idea where you are. It's already injured. Soon after the last Cazador falls dead, you hear the echoes of desperate screams from a nearby cave. You should investigate and see if there's slaves in danger. All right, let's go see if any of those slaves are still alive. Nope, not this not one. Not that cave, apparently. Different this cave. Way. This way. Must Different cave. cave. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. More Cazadors, dead slaves. I heard weird screams. In the oh, there's there's one. Run. Get out of here. Leave. Run. 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 the unfriendly <laughs> mantis. Billy, over here. Oh, never mind. We took care of it. It's fine. That took entirely too long. Uh, waiting. I once entertained the children, laughed and played with them, sharing mirth with all. Then breach came. It was a beautiful day in the playground when the rockets fell. The flames roasted the children and scattered their limbs and viscera in all directions. I myself was mutilated, scorched beyond recognition, yet I survived. And turned into a mantis. Breach did more than blacken my outer shell. He cast a darkness over my very soul that day. I am no longer friendly. I am now an agent of pain, darkness, and misery. All will feel the betrayal of hope and happiness. Despair and flame will rule this land. So I feast on those who enter my lair, stiffening my sinews and gathering power and preparation for the day he comes. And he will come. Then I will have my revenge. Breach will pay. 
So not Casadors, just one big ugly mantis that was definitely causing a lot of devastation here. Yeah, he was doing quite a bit. He was a busy mantis. All right, well, I, it's all threats neutralized. Oh, that, that's not it though. Unless there's more threats down here, let's investigate. What's oh, that? hey, Legion. Legion, are you, they're using gyro jets to execute the slaves. Why would Legion be using gyro jets? Because it's the future. We gotta scavenge supplies. I suppose. I'm hit. <laughs> I don't know I'm why, hit. but they were. Why <laughs> would they be using gyro jets? <laughs> why? Gyro jets don't even work at that distance. They're too close. You can see how they're all still alive. You failed. Exactly. I mean, it would it would be quite painful, but you know. Well, I guess some of them did die, but most of them did not. Do I have to do this for every single one now? It looks like that's the case. You are all, each and every one of you, singularly free. Together. Freed. Yeah, and make sure they don't come back as zombies. Exactly. I don't know where his head is. His, his head's already off. All right. It's fine. Cool, cool. All right. Head back. You're welcome. Yes, everyone, return. Return back to camp. Hurry up! The Legion's still on our heels, probably. It's not like the Legion's literally gonna kill you guys if you don't hurry up and get across the river. I haven't eaten in seven days. I don't care. My knees are broken. Maybe try not being hungry. Suck on a rock. Hey. Huh? Take a guess. Take a wild guess. You'll never be able to guess. I destroyed the Cazaros. That's damn good. Nobody likes them damn devil bugs. We got a little bit before the Legion comes on in, so get your shit together. Final steps and all that. Take a shit, jerk off, whatever you gotta do. I will go take a shit. Let me know when you're ready to get dug in. If you want, you can have a little chat with old butter bars over there. Anybody else, give them a little pep talk. <laughs> all right, we'll go do that. Yep. Hello. So if the Legion's gonna start bearing down on us soon. Maybe, I guess we could plant some landmines if we know where they're coming from. I don't know if we know where they're coming from. Hey. Yes, sir. Anything else you need help with? As a matter of fact, yes. The super mutant down there, Private Cuddy, refuses to use a minigun that was issued to us by command. He's the only one with the strength to handle that thing, and could make a huge difference if the Legion does show up here. If you can allay his fears and convince him to use it, I think it would benefit us all. Good luck. Well, he's opposed to using miniguns, huh? I don't know why he's not using the minigun. No he's... one else can use the minigun, huh? You're all malnourished? Fair enough. Eating nothing but MRE scraps. Sucking on tin cans. Hello. Hey, um, so why are you afraid to use the minigun? Uh, that thing's like a goddamn death trap. As soon as I shoot it, it's gonna blow up right in my face, blow my fingers off. I'll be fucking having to eat with little nubs. I'll look like a fucking mole rat. <laughs> Blind and waddling around, be a fucking freak on a leash. Look, I I'm just as effective with grenades and my hammer here. I don't really need a, a gun, okay? Uh, that's it. End of story. No gun. If you don't use the minigun, I'll bet Cocker will kill more than you in battle. Please, you've just been listening to the Cocker's bullshit for too much. No fucking way. Motherfucker. You are right. Should have <laughs> trusted in his wisdom. What would bad motherfucker do? What would bad motherfucker do? He would pick up the minigun and kill shit. That's it. There's the motivational speech. Motherfucker. <laughs> what you need there? You ready? I guess the best part about dying is that I won't have to be in this fucking shithole next to yep. Cuddy anymore. So yes, I'm fucking ready. Hell yeah, man. That's the positive attitude we're looking for. Hello. Hey, you ready? Sure, I'm just gonna face certain death for a bunch of hobos that probably hate and despise me as a super mutant. But, yes. hey, fuck it. That's life, right? In all seriousness, I've been through worse. Remember, I was in the master's fucking army. I don't know <laughs> bunch of guys in skirts throwing spears kissed my ass. <laughs> Yeah, you were in the Master's Army, got that. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, anybody else need a motivational kick in the ass? Should we plant landmines now, or uh, I guess if there's any more slaves coming, they can just go around the landmines. Yeah, they'll just have to not get blown up. That, hopefully that was the last of them, right there. Last slaves. So now we can start planting landmines, and we don't have to worry about them getting stepped on. 
by a bunch of randos. Honestly, they're probably just gonna run right down the middle of the fucking road. I don't know why I'm planting them off the sides. Because the AI in this game is shit. <laughs> Buddy Chicken, I need motivation. I've been giving other people motivation, but now I need it. Please. <laughs> Even under the foot of his superiors, he's got that happy charm. No, he's not under the foot of his superiors. He's bolstering his lessers. God, fuck this weather. I'm dying. Why the fuck did we cut him there? This is your fault, you know that? Oh, hell no. You did not just blame this shit on me. You! were the one that created a hostile work environment, and I was leaving for greener pastures, motherfucker. You chose to come with me and make this shit worse than it had to be. It's your fault, asshole. Hostile work environment? You are the biggest pussy in the history of the universe. All I did was give you shit for not sweeping up your fucking area because you're a slob. You had to go and walk out like a little baby. It's your fucking fault. You chose to walk out and continue giving me shit. It's not like I fucking forced you. Nobody put a gun to your head and said, leave, asshole. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be cutting hair, and you'd have your fucking snowman. You're like a little girl, decorating it shit, dressing it up in dresses, fucking flowers. You're a little fucking baby. If it wasn't for me guarding you away from there, you'd be a fucking dead man. You'd be cutting hair in hell. Bullshit. I saw it coming a mile away. I knew about the whole Virgil Marco thing. It was fucking painfully obvious. Dumbass ruse. Anybody could have fucking seen it except for you because you're a fucking idiot. I would have fucking snuck out because I'm like a fucking ninja. Please, bitch. You'd have been crying and sobbing and all that shit. Marco would have just fucking looked at you and you would have pissed your fucking pants. You're full of shit. Marco's a big fucking disappointment. Everything I heard over the years, he's supposed to be the ultimate badass. And he just fucking buries somebody. And then, oh, big fucking surprise, they come back to kill him. Dumbest fucking thing I ever heard. He's an idiot. He deserved to die. You know what? You're a disappointment at life. That's right. You couldn't do fucking shit. All you did was bitch and fucking moan, because that's all you're fucking good at. You couldn't do shit about Marco. Other fucking people had to go through the shit and fucking kill him. You think it was fucking easy? You don't know fucking shit. Sit in your fucking foxhole, smoke your fucking cigarettes, and rot to pieces, Mr. Fucking doesn't know dick. There's nothing more pathetic than a butthurt mutant. You are a sad, sad creature. And all this shit is still your fault, asshole. I was going to perform a public service by enlisting in a non-combat MOS. Your stupid ass volunteered for fucking infantry. So naturally, I had to prove that you're just a fucking pussy by doing the same thing. I see you're still a pogue at heart. Why don't you just go back to your non-combat MOS, get a nice little desk job. You can sit out the war with the little girls while the men do the fighting. Bitch, I'm gonna show you, Pogue. I'm gonna kill so many fucking Legion, they're gonna have to line this foxhole with their fucking skulls. You're gonna be a fucking liability in combat. That's what you're gonna fucking be. You're gonna be like that guy in the movies that freaks the fuck out and loses his mind and, like, buries his head in a fucking hole and then he gets bayoneted by the first fucking enemy. That's gonna be you, bitch, and I'm gonna laugh. The only thing lying in this foxhole is gonna be your tears and then your blood. Cause you're gonna cry and then you're gonna die. When this is all done, I'm gonna plant a fucking flag of victory right in your throat. The only thing that needs to get planted in throats is some lozenges or something because I can't understand what you're fucking saying with that zombie dialect. I need a fucking dictionary just to fucking understand what you're saying. That's enough. I'm not taking that shit anymore. I'm taking it up the chain of command. They're gonna put you on charges for discrimination. And then they're gonna fucking court-martial you and shoot you. And I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna be one of the ones pulling the trigger. I'll fucking volunteer to be on the squad. You're gonna die for this. 
Oh yeah? I'm gonna file discrimination charges against you, and you're gonna die first, motherfucker. I'm gonna go up and talk to CO right now, and he's gonna hear about your unrestrained bigotry and hatred of super mutants. You are a cancer in the army. File your fucking charges. We're gonna file your fucking charges. I'm gonna file your charges. You're gonna fucking eat shit. shit. You're gonna burn your fucking shit. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna fucking do a dance. Then I'm gonna write a fucking song about it. It's gonna sell millions. I'm gonna be fucking rich. And you're gonna be a fucking corpse. Fucking zombie piece of shit. Josie. Huh? Uh, do you got any relatives in the military? Yeah, I got some kinfolk in the service. Cousin by the name of Joaquin. He sits on his ass in Boulder City. Supposed to be hunting bounties. God damn it. <laughs> He's about useless. Just like the rest of them bounty hunters. Fucking stupidest job I've ever heard of. <laughs> Believe you it's me. It's a pretty fucking stupid job, you're right. So yeah, Joaquin chases down bounties and... Well, there was Uncle Billy. He got discharged after fucking a super mutant. <laughs> we don't talk about him. You know, that's that's understandable. Who is the strangest person you've encountered in your travels? Is it me? Tell me it's me. I've met plenty of freaks. That one does stand out. I was down in a bar. Might have been Nipton. I don't remember much from that night. I was drinking and talking to some girl when this guy strolls in with a gas mask and crazy hair. That might be me. Called himself you scabies. That's not me. Well, that mask and outfit, I assumed he was a migrant worker. Anyway, he eased up to the bar with look like someone just shit in his hat. He talked like there was a cock stuck in his throat. Took him ten minutes to order a fucking beer, and I was getting thirsty. I politely asked him to hurry his ass up. He started getting pissy, repeating, Package. Divide. Package. Divide. Uh, it's not, yeah, that's annoying. I told him, if his package got near my divide, I'd cut his motherfucking throat. So he said, step outside. I was happy to oblige him. Ain't a full night on the town if you ain't blooded your knuckles. This wasn't my first rodeo. I had some brass knuckles in my pocket. Oh, you sly dog. I wasn't sure what to expect from this clown. There I was, ready to go, and he produced a flagpole. I didn't know if I was supposed to fight or pledge allegiance. Where did he pull it from? I started laughing, so did everyone else. Then I blacked out from the booze. Knew I should have eaten something beforehand. You scabies. Preachiest asshole I ever met. Wouldn't shut the fuck up about getting shafted by some mailman. Yeah, that'll happen. Well, boo fucking who, bitch. I had a night stalk bite one of my nipples off. You don't hear me whine. See, I want to hear that story. I don't care about I Ulysses. I once saw a guy get stung in the balls by a Cazador. Even that poor bastard didn't complain like you scabies. If you can't toe the line, just get drunk. There's your philosophy. We also had interactions with him. He's dead now. You ever been to Freeside? Yeah, I was on assignment there a while back, conducting a reconnaissance mission on the local poontang. <laughs> well, being neck deep and leashed pussy has some drawbacks, like gonorrhea. Yep. Felt like someone put a blowtorch in my dick. <laughs> so I stopped in at that Mormon fort where those hippie doctors give free treatment. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, they set me up with some antibiotics. Great. I just never expected him to be so whiny and preachy. Some cross-eyed twat tried to lecture me about alcoholism, then wanted a donation. Yeah, they do that. Uh, I was a little under the influence, so I interpreted donate as grab my tits. She got all jumped up, started hollering, so I made another donation. <laughs> I mean, that's the and then pissed on their sign, even though it burned. <laughs> God damn it, Joey. <laughs> what a character you are, Josie. Oh, uh, what the fuck, Josie? You ever been to the strip? Yep. I made the mistake of walking into the Ultra Lux. Yeah, don't go in there. I heard someone say it was glamorous, so I thought they'd have tits on full display. No, you gotta go to the Gamora for that one. Nothing glamorous about it, believe me. 
That didn't stop me from getting shit-faced, though. Place was much more interesting after a few shots. So I minded my own business, and some mime with a clown mask tells me I'm dressed inappropriately, and they frown on public intoxication. Can you see the frown behind the mask? I sort of blacked out, but somebody who was there said I took that mask and applied it to my genital <laughs> area while screaming, I'm President Kimball. <laughs> I think that description is exaggerated. He also said that I took a mean shit in their fountain. <laughs> Apparently that's why I'm banned from the Ultralux. That one's probably true. Alright, well, try not to shit in any fountains. Mm-hmm. Alright. What a what an interesting man Josie is. What a storied life he has lived. It's, interesting does not mean good, <laughs> but he's a very interesting man. <laughs> Where are they? Well, they're not gonna show- Oh, what? Is that- You also have explosive rounds if you would like to use those! You're still alive! I can fix that! Oh! That's a big explosion! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! We'll save the day! You don't even have to be precise! Get close enough and the explosions will take care of them! Are there more? Why are there air raid sirens? Oh, they were coming from that crevice I was worried about. Should have mind that area too. Oh well, too late for that now. Ah, they, there's enough of us. We got this. Wow. <laughs> yup, that'll do. That. Oh yeah, this is this is easy. Shooting fish in a barrel. They don't stand a chance. Oh, save that civilian. Ah. Help me out. Uh, nah, he's fucked. We'll we'll leave him. He's saved. I, no, he's dead. <laughs> you fucking turkey shoot. Why is this ranger charging with a melee weapon? What are you doing, buddy? He's not, he's not smart. Buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Come back here. Oh, no. Oh, Come back here. I'm not fucking done with you. <laughs> oh, no. They're going after Cocker and Cuddy. Oh, oh, they're using the minigun. It's good. It's fine. It's all good. Well, there's a lot of you guys going across a large open terrain, eh? They really don't stand a chance. We're they're, also... They really uh, don't, especially when I've got so many freaking grenades. <laughs> Yeah, the grenade launcher is great, but it, it's lacking a bit of range here. Good fun. I mean, it's working. Yeah, it, I guess so. Can't argue with the results, and uh, there's a lot of dead legion out there. This will get the job done, absolutely. All right, right side is clear. How's the left side doing? How you doing over there with the minigun and everything else, the rockets? Yeah. I may need more explodey bullets. Oh, is that a reprieve? Are we done with battle, or is this the eye of the storm? Oh, uh, yeah, well, the, it was the second one. You're right, there is air raid sirens. I'm not sure who's doing that. Maybe it's playing over the radio. Maybe the captain's playing it. It's his favorite album, 101 air raid sirens to groove to. <laughs> Lo-fi air raid sirens to relax and do homework to. Yes. Oh, there's a whole wave of them. I, there goes the contubernium. There goes the second contubernium. So many Contubernia are being erased. So which one of you is Titus Assius? Which one of you? Get over here. Yo, it's just Titus Assius. Oh, some of them made it onto the shore. I probably accidentally blew up. Uh... Nope, nope, they're not attacking me. We're good. Man, who says war as hell? We're having a blast. Yeah, this is fun. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. Locked and loaded and ready to goaded with the sauce. What? <laughs> I'm not even young, and I cringed hearing you say that. You picked up more exploding bullets. No, run! Run for your the life! The Legion will tell of this horrible defeat for eons to come. Well, for as long as the Legion lasts, which will probably be about five minutes. We came over the hill, and, just, and I watched my buddy explode. It's not even a fair fight, but you know what? It's a fun fight. Oh, they got some red on their head. They're super strong enemies. Yeah, that just means they're the ones I aim for first. <laughs> it's like, they got a medic cross on their arm, taking them out first, eh? Stop. Oh, we lost a bunch of guys. I couldn't keep everyone alive. We did our best, but you know what? It's good enough. Fucking hell. Never thought I'd say this, but that's almost as bad as Zulu. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Stupid bastard just pissed his whole army away here. Shit fire, brass is gonna eat this up.
We gotta care for the wounded and police up the dead. I'll have the slaves help out carry the bodies down to Bullhead. And then we can make them our slaves! <laughs> what it's worth. You did damn good here. Thank you. I don't know if we'd have held this thing without you. You see them slaves again, you just remember they're alive because of what you've done here. Hopefully they're grateful. Don't forget that. Well, let's get to the worst part of this, figuring out who's dead. Did the lieutenant die? I don't know where he is. Let's see who is still alive. Let's take inventory. A lot of dead, lot of dead randoms. What? Oh, hey, Watson. I don't think we ever talked to him. It, it's never too late. Let's get to know him. Get fucked. He's probably mad we never talked to him. Possibly. I can't believe you survived using only a Mac. Were you just hiding in the, with a, with a Makarov? Is that just a Makarov with one bullet? And you're like, as soon as the Legion comes over this wall, there's one bullet for me. He may have. I'm sure one of these guys was Titus Atticus. We've uh, blown up a lot of them, though, so it's hard to tell who's who. He doesn't even have anything cool on him. Well, he's got noodles. All right. Or are those intestines? I won't think about it. Either way, it goes great with tomato sauce. Oh, our friends are still alive. Hey, they made it! What you need there? You holding up? Well, I've got shrapnel in my ass. Mm-hmm. And I've been shot at nearly. Had my head cut off. And now Cuddy's farting again in the foxhole. <laughs> so yes, I guess I'm A-fucking-okay. Great! Excuse me, just a little battle fatigue, as they say. Thank you for your help. You need anything? Just look me up. Take care of yourself. Look, you, you, we have a phone on you? Whatever. It's a turn of phrase. Hello. Hello. I guess this is it. Heading back to the Mojave. What was that? Oh, sorry, I've got this ringing shit in my ear. I can't fucking <laughs> hear anything. <laughs> the minigun. Oh, damn, that was crazy. Hey, thanks for sticking it out with us, you know. I, I don't know if we'd have made it without you, so... Really, thank you. And you ever need a haircut, just look me up in some place where it's hot and shitty, and you'll find me there, most likely. I'll look for the hottest and shittiest places. Butterbars may have survived, or maybe he ran away to, to survive another day. No, no idea. Hey, Josie. Huh? I want to go home. Ready when you are. Me and the slaves are head to Bullhead. You can go on back home. Back to the Mojave! So happened that the courier saved the goddamn day at Camp Sh- I, I mean F-O-B <laughs> Omega. Yay! Saving countless lives and changing the course of the war. Those that survived would maintain a unique reverence for the courier who had shared the peril of battle against a powerful adversary. Yeah. The NCR would go on to award the defenders a range of medals and commendations, though many were posthumous. Boo! Leading from the front, Hodges fell alongside his troops in their brave stand on the Colorado River. Oh, he did die. Nobly! NCR command immediately vaunted Hodges as a hero and model officer, going so far as to rename a parade deck in his honor. Many of the surviving slaves would make a pilgrimage to FOB Omega, to honor Hodges and his soldiers. A makeshift shrine remains there to this day. Made out of sticks. After shepherding the slaves to Bullhead, Josie took some well-earned leave and then resumed his duties as a ranger. With Watson to keep his wild side in check, Josie managed to earn a leadership position within his unit. Although a few rangers would recommend Josie as a replacement for Hanlon, he would never be considered a serious candidate. Now I can understand why. Regardless, Josie found fulfillment in his career, sharing countless adventures with his steadfast partner, Watson. Cool. Having defended their position and survived against overwhelming odds, Cocker and Cuddy emerged from battle with a new lease on life. Yay! The remainder of their enlistment consisted of rebuilding and guarding FOB Omega, which would never experience another full-scale assault. Good. With newfound pride, the pair eventually left the service and penned a vivid account of the war called With the Mutant Breed. 
Critics lauded the book for its vivid, unfiltered account of war. <laughs> the duo would use their royalties to build a chain of barber shops throughout <laughs> NCR. God damn it. <laughs> Though only a few slaves were able to assist in the defense of FOB Omega, their courage and sacrifice did not go unnoticed by NCR command. To put them to work as indentured servants. Soon after the battle, a special unit consisting of former slaves was formed. It would become one of the most distinguished units in the war. As for the rest of the slaves, they never forgot the garrison at FOB Omega who had sacrificed so much to ensure their right to life and liberty. Every year, the survivors would hold a memorial in their honor, thankful to be free from the fetters of slavery and the threat of crucifixion. Due to Titus Atticus's single-minded obsession with exterminating rebellious slaves, most of the Legion's southern army was annihilated at FOB Omega. Nice. What a bunch of morons! Though they could still mount reconnaissance missions and small raids, Legionaries would never again take the offensive south of Bullhead. In turn, the NCR was free to divert much-needed resources and manpower to Hoover Dam, where the truly decisive battle would soon take place. Soon. The stand at FOB Omega would be heralded by the NCR as a historic victory and testament to the competence and fortitude of its soldiers. Though the garrison had sustained some casualties, it was negligible in proportion to the Legion's catastrophic loss of manpower. NCR Command would heap medals and commendations on both individual soldiers and the garrison as a whole. Nonetheless, the engagement would be overshadowed by the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. I don't think it will. Where the fate of all the Mojave Wasteland would be decided. Eventually. By standing with the garrison of FOB Omega and safeguarding hundreds of helpless slaves, the courier managed to exercise some of the demons of Utah. I did? He understood the defining characteristic of a hero. I do? Sacrifice. The pain, loss, and misery he had endured had ensured life and liberty for others. Sacrificing others? Taking solace in this fact, he walked with pride back to the Mojave Wasteland. His thoughts focused on the imminent battle at Hoover Dam. Imminent, yes. I imminent. <laughs> and we're back here! Yay, we made it! Delivery. On behalf of the Republic, thank you for a job well done. The defense at Fob Omega is going to be immortalized as one of the finest moments in the history of our military. And you made it possible. But no one will ever mention it again. More importantly, hundreds of slaves are now alive because of the bravery and sacrifice exhibited by the defenders. Brookshire's actions at Frost Hill have now been formally censured, and the agency wishes to extend our gratitude with a formal commendation and appropriate financial compensation. Well, thank you for slapping him on the wrist. The New California Republic thanks you for your service, Zach. Sincerely, Wickham. Yay! Yay! You what? know, I, I feel slightly better about... The hell's this kid? His name is Ryan. Beat it. Change combat style. Look, I I'm just as effective with grenades and my hammer here. I don't really need a, a gun, okay? Uh, that's it. End of story. No gun. Oh, really? The flabby meat puppet is going to tell me how to fight! It's time to begin the slaughter! Holy shit, I'm the minigun and me are one. Uh, this is my minigun. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yes.